Hey everyone, Amber here. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to do share with you guys how I made the base for this little embellishment book that I made. So I posted a picture of this project on my Instagram and had a handful of people asking for a tutorial. And I think what people mostly want to know how to make is the base of the project, which allows it to stand up on its own and act as a display item. Everything else in the book is pretty straightforward. Um, I just used some Project Life cards, decorated them up like I would any other Happy Mail piece and added goodies and then I just clipped them in using some mini um, binder rings. And that's pretty much it. So I think what people want to know how to make is the base. So that's what I'm going to show you guys how to make today. And um, I'm not going to show the whole <laughs> decorating process just because um, it did take me a little while um, when I made this one. So um, I'll do a quick little flip through so you can see what the project kind of looks like. So I added some tassels here. And then when you flip each page back, it has a back side, which you can also just flip the project around and display that if you want to. So um, if you don't have Project Life cards to use, you can totally make a tag flip or an envelope flip book or a mini album out of this. I did make a mini album uh, using the same technique, but it was a bigger one. And it's so fun because it stands up on its own. Um, also, the traveling Happy Mail book, which I have right here, um, is made the same way that this one is. So you can make it any size you want. You just have to adjust the measurements of the chipboard and the paper um, and just do your own thing with it. Like I said, if you don't have Project Life cards, you can make it into your own thing. So um, I just decorated each Project Life card and then added some goodies here and there throughout the book. So I made some little flare and some little bows here. And then I added some twine and three different tags. Some little wood veneer hearts, more flair. I made some cute little um, flowers. Hopefully the camera is picking this up. I'm kind of showing it at a weird angle. And then on the last page, I just clipped in some little fray stickers. So that is my little embellishment book. Um, I'm going to show you guys now what you're going to need to make this. So first and foremost, you are going to need some chipboard or cardboard. So if you don't have chipboard, cardboard works great. Just make sure that you are using a heavier one. Um, so not like a cereal box. Um, just because the chipboard is going to act as our base and um, if you don't use something that's heavy enough, once you clip all of the pages in, um, it will be too heavy and topple over. So just keep that in mind. So you're going to need four pieces of chipboard. You're going to need two that measure four inch by four and a half inch, and then two that measure three and a quarter inch by four inch. You're also going to need some paper. So to wrap the chipboard, you need a piece that measures 12 inches by five and a half inches. And then to cover up in the center here, you will need a piece that measures 10 and a half inches by three and three quarters inches. You are also going to need some mini little binder rings because this is a smaller project. You're going to need a ruler just to measure everything out. And I use my ruler to space out my chipboard, which I'll show you what I mean later. You're going to need some scissors um, and a heavy duty um, hole puncher. So because we are going to be punching through chipboard, um, just make sure you have a hole puncher that's strong enough to do so. I am using the Power Punch by We Are Memory Keepers. It punches through chipboard like butter. Um, it works really, really well. So that's what I'm going to be using. And you're also going to need some adhesive. So I am just using this double-sided tape from Joann's that measures a quarter inch. And that is all you're going to need besides your scoring tool just to make sure everything is adhered nicely. So 
With all that said, we are going to start making the project. So the first step is to take your piece of paper that measures 12 inches by five and a half inches, and you're going to flip it so that the side that you want on the outside is facing down. And then we are going to lay our chipboard out in the way that we want it to be, which will look like this. And you just want to make sure that you have an even amount of paper on the two ends here. That will just make wrapping the chipboard much easier and nicer. So this is what the layout is going to look like. So I already have my adhesive on the back of all my chipboard. You can use whichever adhesive you like, um, wet glue, glue stick, double-sided tape. I would just avoid hot glue because it dries fast and sometimes when you are just using paper it leaves like indentations and stuff. So um, I would just avoid using that. So I'm just going to remove the backing of my tape and then I'm just going to stick all my pieces down like this. So I like to start with my first one and then I can move the rest and go from there. So just make sure that it is centered. And then I like to use my scoring tool to just press down and make sure that that tape is really sticking. And now that I have this one in place, I can move all of these out of the way. And then to make sure that the spacing between them is nice and even, I just take my ruler and press it up against the other piece of chipboard here, and then I'll just place this one here. And then you'll have about an eighth of an inch or so um, space between each one. So I'm just going to place the rest of my pieces down. All right guys, and once you have that done, the next step is to take your scoring tool and you're just going to run it along all four sides, just once or twice, just to create a little score line so that when we fold up all of our sides, it will just fold up nicely. And now we are going to do a little bit of cutting. So we are going to cut all four corners and we're going to leave about an eighth of an inch of space away from the very top of the corner when we cut. Otherwise we'll have some of the chipboard peeking through. So I just like to eyeball it. You can totally measure it out if you want it to be perfect. I just kind of eyeball it and go with the flow. So I'm just going to cut and leave a little bit of space like that on all four corners. Next I'm going to take some of my adhesive and I'm just going to apply that to all four sides. If you're um, using glue, then just do one side at a time, but because I'm using some double-sided tape, I'm just going to put it on all four sides. Alright, so once you have your adhesive down and ready to go, I'm just going to pre-fold up on all of my sides here. And now I'm going to start adhering my sides down. So I like to do the long sides first and then I will do the shorter sides last. So I'm just going to remove the backing of my double sided tape. And 
And I like to start in the center and just press down. And then as you move towards the outer corners, just kind of pull it down so that you get a nice clean fold. And then once you've done that, you can take your scoring tool or bone folder and just make sure that it's nice and adhered. And now I'm going to do the other long side the same exact way. And once we have the two longer sides glued down, we can move on to the shorter sides. So I'm going to just do the same thing. I'm going to remove the backing of my tape. And then I'm just going to go from the center and secure it down. And then going to do the same thing for the final side. And once you're done with that, you will have something that looks like this. So before we move on to applying the inner lining, I'm just going to take my scoring tool and then um, where we have all these empty spaces, I'm just going to very gently, so I don't tear the paper, make some score lines. So that way when I put this down, I'll be able to um, just find them easier when it comes time to folding our book. So now I'm going to apply the inner lining and to do this you want to use a good amount of adhesive so you don't get any bubbling in the paper. Again using my double sided tape and I'm just going to apply it all over the um, inside here on the chipboard and then I'll go ahead and do an outline as well. Alright so once I have all of my adhesive down I'm just going to remove the backing of my tape and then do my best to center this onto the project and then I'm going to take my scoring tool and just smooth everything out as much as I can before I move on to the next step. Alright, so now that I have my lining put on the center part, I'm going to reinforce those score lines. So these score lines are going to give us our folds. We will have three folds. We'll have two to make some corners and then one in the center which will bend all the way down and that gives um, this little project the ability to stand on its own. So I'm just going to find those score lines from before. And if you need to, you can gently bend the book to help you find them. And again, gently, I'm going to just score along them and then slowly fold up as I'm doing so to get a nice clean crease there. I'm going to do the same on the other side. And then for the one in the middle here, I like to score it from the inside and the outside as well, just to make sure that it's nice and crisp. And now that we have that done, 
you'll see that it folds like this and then uh, very slowly you can um, push in and just fold down on this. Make sure you do it slowly so the paper doesn't tear and if you did use um, a glue stick or wet glue give it time to dry completely before doing that. And then you'll see you have something like this and then it will stand on its own. So now it's time to add some holes. So I'm going to take my power punch and I'm going to measure my holes at one inch on either side. So I like to measure at half an inch and then because the power punch is about half an inch wide, um, I just measure up against the mark that I made and then punch and then I get holes that are half an inch in. So I'm going to measure on both sides at half an inch. Then I'm going to take my power punch and I'm just going to measure it against that little mark that I made with my pencil and then punch. And I'm going to do the same on the opposite side as well. And now I have my punched holes and you can definitely use some hole reinforcers um, to hide any little imperfections or just to make it look nicer. Now I can take my mini binder rings and just clip those in. And your base is complete. So like I said, super easy. I've already picked out some Project Life cards that I want to um, use for this project. So I am using the Gather Collection for this one. Um, for this one I used the Open Book Collection. So I already picked some out which I think are super cute. I love the birds in this collection. And to make the holes in these fit perfectly with this, I like to just use one side as a template and I just line it up with the Project Life cards and then um, use my pencil to trace it out. And now I can just clip these into the project and then I am good to go and I can start decorating and adding goodies. Um, so like I said, um, if you don't have Project Life cards, totally make this your own. Turn it into a cute mini album or like a little desk calendar. Um, you can use some envelopes that you make or some tags to make a tag flip. I think anything you do with this project will be super cute and just look so, so fun um, on your desk or your pal's desk. I think it's a really nice gift. So that is how you make the base for this project. I really hope that you guys found this tutorial helpful. If you did, leave a like down below and subscribe for more crafty videos like this. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I will see you in my next video. Take care and happy crafting. Bye.